Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to continue our scrolling platform again and this is part 3 of the series and this is where we are off, we have a nice platformer okay, and you realise I have changed the platforms okay, so let's continue so you can see in this code I have I changed it to ne by t from negative 20 to negative 24 because it's better if it's negative 24 okay and in the platforms go here and okay we have a nice platform we have you just draw a, a brown rectangle and make it the same size make the grass the same size as the brown rectangle okay so that's like it so now we'll make more platforms duplicate it okay I'll select everything I'll make it smaller I'll put it right up here. Copy paste. Put it right here. Copy paste. Put it right here. I think it's too much. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so let's go back to the code. Okay, and we'll make a new variable named level falls right. Oh. Okay, you can see I already have level. Oh, it's not for slime. Okay. So make a new variable named level full sprites and when green flag clicked we'll set level to one and in the platforms you'll put an if else level equals one then we will switch costume to level 1 1 okay so you might notice why I put this because it's level 1 and it's part 1 of the level 1 it's part 2 of the level 1 okay let's go to level 1 1 make a new block named create clone at x add an input to x y and an input y run that screen refresh and we'll put that here to find create clone at x y we will create clone of myself we will change x and y to x y I will put in the next costume block and in the create clone x I'll put in 480 y0 it's just that ok and yes it works very very nice ok just that ok so that's nice ok so now the problem is when I go here and go to the left the clone platform is following me ok so let's fix that it's simple just put in an if else and ok equals to ok if x equals x position y equals y position we will show 
else will hide. Okay, so you can't see it again. And when we go in, and it shows. Nice. Okay, that's nice. Now we want to make the player. When I, I go here, it stops scrolling. You'll see what I mean. Okay, we'll go in the slime. Right below the set scroll X to X, we'll put an if. Scroll X is less than zero, and we'll set scroll X to zero, and we'll duplicate that below here. If scroll Y equals zero, then we'll set scroll Y to zero. Okay, so now when we go here, it doesn't scroll. Okay, and when we go here, it starts scrolling, and that's what we want for a platformer that is great and now we want to make a death when it touches that when it falls okay so in the tick okay you'll put in an if y is less than negative 180 we'll set exit die okay let's test that um, okay so it dies and it goes back but now when it dies we want to make an animation to do that um, you'll make a new block name game die Run without screen refresh. Okay, and then we'll put game die there. Define game die. We'll put in a set exit to nothing. We'll put in a repeat five. We'll hide. Wait 0 0.1 seconds. We'll show. We'll wait another 0 0.1 seconds. Okay. And then at the very end, we'll hide. Then we'll wait 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so that's. Okay, we can test it. Okay, so let's try. Oh, um, I think I'll have to put in an if else exit equals die. Put that. Let's try that. There's something wrong. Maybe hmm. what if I remove the exit? I will put the hide over. Okay, let's try that. It's the same thing. Okay, so we'll fix that in the next part. So, and okay, we can make more levels. We can shift it like that. Oh, um, wait. Okay, you can make it bigger. Oh, sorry, um, make it long, okay, I'll put it right 
the delete. Okay, so that's actually nice. Okay. And that's okay, and we'll get this. Click clone at XY, and that will adjust the Y to 180. Okay, so let's adjust that. Okay, and I think that is it for this part. So, okay, so thank you for watching. Please leave like comment share subscribe and in the next video i will put in some danger like the spikes right here and there will be a port an exit portal for the next level okay